The VFW in Brattleboro held its annual Veterans Day event on Monday, November 11, 2024. And in moments of unimaginable hardship. For those who serve, it's the shared understanding, the unspoken trust that binds brothers and sisters in arms. It's the spirit that pushes one to go further, endure longer, and bear more for the sake of those standing beside. Several fire departments work on putting out the remaining hot spots from a brush fire that damaged roughly five acres of land on Kelly Road in Bradover on Wednesday, November 13, 2024. Walpole, New Hampshire Police is investigating a two-vehicle head-on crash involving a school bus on Route 12 on Wednesday, November 13, 2024. One person was transported by UMass Life Flight for serious but unknown injuries. Police said children on the bus were okay with only minor injuries. Eighth graders from St. Michael's Catholic School in Brattleboro helped pick up American flags on veterans' tombstones at local cemeteries in preparation for winter on Friday. Kelly Price, a game warden with the Vermont Warden Service, will be retiring in the next six months. As soon as it's outside, it's cold. Yeah, yeah that's our so. plan. We haven't slept in days. I mean, every 45 minutes we're feeding this, and then we're getting smoked out, and then I have to take the kids out. Uh, the mud puppies. Uh, they're like, yeah, they're, they're like, like a nuisance. Like yeah, do they small? I appreciate oh, urgent. I heard they're they're in they here, but they're extremely. The Barbara Reformer held its seventh annual Remarkable Women's Awards on Thursday, November twenty first, two thousand twenty four. Women who've chosen to challenge the status quo, redefine expectations, and make their mark in their respective and to make a meaningful impact. Not just on our financial success, but on how we cause the change. Your journey is yours alone, and it will inspire those. The leader category is Maya Richards. <laughs> Of an Students from St. Michael's Catholic School help out as St. Virgin's Kitchen and Pantry in Bradbro get ready to hand out ingredients for Thanksgiving Day meals on Thursday, November 21st, 2024. Joe Hoy, owner of Hoy Fit slash Diet Detox, delivers approximately $3,000 in toys to the state's Department of Children and Family Services Family and Services the Division the office in Brattleboro on Saturday, November 16th, 2024. You didn't see what? Yeah. For these videos and more, go to reformer.com, head to the multimedia tab for more content.